good morning from the Isle of Skye. So I've come up this morning for sunrise. Um, not that I think there's actually going to be one at the moment. Um, you can probably just see kind of over my left shoulder there, there's a big bank of cloud on the horizon. I mean, I checked the forecast last night and it was kind of 50-50 to me. So I thought, you know, you've got to give it a go. So I've come up to, um, up to store, uh, well, to photograph the old man's store, um, hopefully in nice winter conditions, which I have got, but um, with some nice winter light, but that's probably not going to happen. So, you know, I kind of saw that from the car park when I arrived, um, the, 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 the cloud on the horizon, but that was probably an hour and 15 minutes ago now. And, you know, it could change in that time. And I thought, oh, you know, what the heck, may as well come up. Because um, even without the light, when you've got these winter conditions, you get some really nice kind of cool blue tones to the scene. So usually when I come up here, I've got to higher viewpoint, um, but there was quite a bit of snow, eh, snow, excuse me, ice on the path um, just beyond where I am now. And I didn't think uh, I needed to bring my crampons with me this morning, so better be safe than sorry. I decided to not go any further. So what I've done is I've come up to the bank on the side to get a kind of slightly higher viewpoint and also get separation between the, the various structures with the old man sitting in the middle. So if we look at the camera, so it's a, it's a straightforward composition here. Um, I'm zoomed in to just beyond probably about 55 millimeter on my 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Um, I've got kind of the, the, um, the, the, the what's called the sanctuary, um, the collective name for all the pinnacles there with the cathedral on the left, the old man on the right, and sorry, in the middle, and then the other two structures on the right. With a little bit of space on the left, um, there's reasonable structure to the, the clouds in the sky behind. So 2.8 lens I've got, so I'm shooting at 5.6. It's every, you know, there's nothing really close to me. I mean, the, <laughs> the point that's which is closest to me is probably a couple hundred meters away. So there's no, you know, there's no depth to the image. 2.8 lens, so 5.6 is gonna be good enough for sharpness here. It's gonna be one quarter of a second. So I've got a two second timer on. So just take the shot. And there we go. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, that's, I think once that's processed, um, we have a nice blue feel to the image. Um, sunrise is about 10 minutes away. Um, so, I'd say the bank of cloud on the horizon there is probably going to thwart, thwart any um, chance of that. But I'll wait here for a little bit until kind of daylight increases a bit and then there's a there's a wee lock down below and I look like when I come up in the darkness it looks like it might be frozen so it might be worth heading down there and see if there's any nice patterns in the ice down there so yeah so I'm just going to hang fire here for a bit and uh, see what happens. So the sun has come up now, uh, I can see it behind the clouds um, over to the east but it's not going to light up a subject and it's just a thin veil of cloud over there so it's not going to do anything in terms of light. So I've come closer to the old man from where I was previously um, I saw a nice you know, group of rocks sticking out of the snow. So I've come, come over here and um, you know, cause it'll act as a frame for the bottom of the image hopefully. So I'll show you what I've got here. Yeah, so I've got these rocks in the bottom of the frame. There's a middle rock, which is like a pointy rock, which kind of almost like points up to the old man, the way I've positioned the, the composition. It's not quite there, but it's almost there. I tried to get it, but it just wasn't working right in the middle. So settings wise, three tenths of a second, F16, because the, these rocks are fairly close to me. And there's, so there's quite a bit of depth to the image. I'm shooting around about 50 millimeter. So we just take the shot. There you go. I've done a 4 by 3 crop with this one, just to kind of remove a little bit of the sky and a little bit of the bottom of the rocks. It found it was a bit better for this one, because um, I'm shooting a portrait composition. So yeah, so I'm going to stick with these rocks, see if I can find anything else. If not, I'll head down to that lock, in the, the frozen lock which I mentioned earlier, and see if there's anything down there. So I've come down to the wee lock, and yes, it is frozen. Um, 
not quite as nice as I was hoping for. There are some kind of patterns underneath the ice. So basically your main subject here is the old man. That's kind of the, the main rock that you'll have in the in the shot. <coughs> so it's also quite a wide image as well. If you're shooting landscape, it doesn't really work unless you've got an ultra wide angle lens. I mean, the widest focal length I've got is 16 mil, which I've got in here. And so I'm going to go for a, um, for a panel. So I've set it up already. Um, and I've kind of envisaged my my panel just by rotating the camera around. Not sure if it'll work or not, might may do. So I've focused on the, the old man itself. Shooting at F11 got one thirteenth of a second. Now to do in panels, my tripod's level. Okay, first and foremost the, tri the tripod's level. Because um, if when you're rotating your camera on a non-level base, you're either going to be going uphill or downhill. So you've got to get that as level as possible. Then your camera level. So what I've done is I've set everything level and then I've moved the I've, I've loose, sorry, I've loosened the ball head, the, the panning part of the ball head that I've got, and then just basically rotated the ball head around my composition. And it's pretty much stayed level, you know, it's wav wavering red, green, red, green all throughout. And I also use that to check the exposure throughout the, the frame. So I bring up the histogram and as I'm moving, I just check that there's no major change in the histogram from dark to bright. So I'll start a little bit further left than where I want my first image to be. Oh, still got a two second timer on, doesn't really matter. Okay, and then what I do is I move to the right. You can move left or right when you're doing a pan, doesn't matter. And so I've got about a third overlap on the left hand side. Get my next shot. So I've got the old man there, so I bring the old man towards the left of the frame to there. Doesn't matter if you do not enough, um, not enough, um, you know, like a 50 50 overlap, doesn't really matter as long as you have got the overlap for Lightroom or Photoshop to do the job. And then probably my last, no, I've probably got another two frames to shoot. There we go, and just a little bit further than what I need, just so I get the edge of the lock. And that's it. So I'll just review my images. Yeah, I think that may be okay. Now I'm not too worried about the, the rocks and the, the background there, because um, it's probably going to crop just above them. But what I'll do is I'll just slightly wider one as well, just so that I've got the... Um, the top of the actual ridge of store um, in the frame as well. And then just have a walk around, see if I can do some individual portrait images and um, yeah, see what I can find. So I was just about to head off when it looked like there was going to be some sort of light coming out. So I've actually come back up towards store. So I've come pretty close to it. So look at the back of the camera here. Um, the light's actually just coming really good at the moment, so I'm just going to take a shot. Yeah, because if I wait any longer, the actual sun's actually going to come right into my view. So I've kind of I've already got a shot in the bag, so I'll talk you through the composition. So I've got this big rock on the right hand side, and uh, the light was just starting to kind of hit it a little bit, so that it was kind of sparkling, shall we say, because there's ice on there. Um, and I've got part of the cathedral on the left hand side of the frame, so I'm framing kind of either side with this rock in the cathedral. And then almost slap bang in the middle again is, is the old man of store. Nice guy behind it. Um, showing the F8, 500 of a second. Yeah, I think that should be quite nice. So, yeah, I didn't think I was going to get any light this morning, but it's probably a good hour and a half, maybe getting on for two hours after sunrise. Um, so the downside was shooting up, my, my, shooting from my first location at, at this time of year, at this time is the fact that the sun's obviously it's so far south already um, and it just causes so many complications. You know, you're basically shooting right into the sun. So yeah, so if I'd waited any longer now, I'm just gonna take, I'm only gonna take a more shot because there's a little bit of light coming into the foreground. Yeah, it's just, it's almost gonna get too much to handle, I say with the sun. So I'm just gonna go down to eight, eight hundredths of a second. So yeah, I think that could work quite nicely because the sky is really quite nice. It's got like a metallic -y feel to it, shall we say. So yeah, I think that's all right. So that is it for me this morning. Um, so thank you so much for the response to the last video from uh, this Trotternish Ridge. 
Um, I was amazed by the response. I mean, it was a great morning. So yeah, um, all the comments, likes, and subsequent subscribes in the back of that is very much appreciated. Hope you like this video. A little bit rushed in places. Um, this is the only light I've got, but you know, you, you've got to take what you're given on mornings. You know, I came out with the hope of, hope, hope of getting light first thing. Didn't happen, but I'm not disappointed. You know, I've come out, I'm, I'm up here. Now I've got to go back home, sit on the computer for the rest of the day and do some work. So, yeah, it's been a good morning. So, hope you liked it. Um, if you did, hit that uh, like icon. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell, bell icon to be notified when another video is uploaded. Until that one, bye bye.